What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Yakima Bedrock system on our 2021 Ford Ranger. This is gonna be a good thing to add crossbars to the tops of your bed with these clamps. So it's not a permanent insulation. You can remove it when you don't want them on there, but you can carry your bikes up here. You can put a cargo basket up here, kind of maximize that bed space and then still leave some things down here in the bed, like a cooler or whatever else you're loading down here. That way you can stack stuff on top of each other. Let's check it out. You've probably seen people using ladder racks in a similar fashion, but that's gonna be higher up in the air and better for longer items like kayaks. This, with these down here, it's gonna be easy access. So you put your bike rack on here, you can easily load it from the side. You don't have to reach too far into it. Or if you were to put a cargo basket, again, same thing, easy access from the side, just an easier time loading it and unloading it. Another thing is I really like the way they look on the Ranger. So these are 68 inch bars. You can get a little bit longer if you want a little bit more of an overhang, but the 68 inch is the one we got on there today. You also have, it only adds three inches of height to the top of your bed rail. So that's not that much. I like the low profile design. I think it looks pretty sharp on the back of the Ranger. On the top side, you also have the strip that covers up the T-Track. So you can slide items up in there and peel this back and cut it to length wherever you want to put that. You could also use clamp around accessories too. And at the ends, you have tie down points that help you tie down your cargo that you're going to haul in there. So that's nice that you don't have to get those as add-ons. They're already built into the bars. Looking at the feet, you can see it's got a rubber coating here at the bottom. That's going to protect the top of your bed rails from getting scratched. It's not going to cause any issues resting there. And then the way they attach is these clamps, really easy to use and operate. They even have a lock on them. So I can come around, unlock it, flip it up, and that's as easy to take it off. I would just bring this bolt down and you can remove the bars. You can also swap out those lock cores to match your other Yakima products. So that's going to be handy. That way you can only take one key with you. You don't have to have a whole key ring full of different keys. Now, how hard are they to install? I mentioned it was really easy to put them on and take them off. Follow along and see how we did it. First thing we're going to do for the install is we're going to remove these end caps so we can put our feet on our bars. So what we're going to do is just get this Allen wrench. There's a bolt down in the T-slot. Just loosen that. Actually, just flip the bar over to get that out of there. Slide off the end, and we're gonna put on both feet. So make sure this one's facing the correct way. We'll slide that all the way down the other side, and then we'll add this one in. You see how this metal portion just goes underneath there, right to the T-track, and then we'll replace our end cap. Next, we're gonna set the bar into place on the back of our truck. I'm gonna set it up here first. Let's get the spacing right. I'll move those feet in and make sure the bar is even on both sides. So something you can kind of do is pick out something in the truck bed to kind of use it to go in the center of. I'm gonna use this indention here. Just kind of center that up on both sides. Now make sure you adjust the side to side and make sure there's enough even overhang on both. Looks like we need to go over just a little bit. So I'll just push it, take another look. That looks pretty good there. And what we're gonna do is just flip it upside down and come back and tighten these into place. Something else that can help you out, figure out how much overhang you have is you have the specific numbers here at the bottom. You can look on both sides, make sure those are the same before you tighten it down. But once you got that set, just come back with the Allen wrench and tighten down that foot. After tightening down both feet to the bars, we can add the clamps next. So what you're gonna do is put these here and these notches there. So you just kinda go over and like that, they're in place, and then we'll add a foot pad to the top of the bolt on the underneath side and just slowly turn it and get it tight to the truck bed. Just make sure it doesn't touch the edges there. But I think once you get past that, it should be pretty easy. It is a long bolt, so it will take a little bit just to do it by hand. But it's gonna get even tighter when we get it. I'm pushing against the truck bed and I push it on this lever. 
almost making contact now. All right, now it's touching there. I get a little bit tired with my hand and then throw the lever. Now it's nice and tight. You can come back with the included key and lock it up too. Overall, really easy to install and they're on there nice and tight. I can take the whole truck back and forth. There's no rattling or movement. I think these are really gonna help you out carrying stuff up above your bed and still being able to use your bed space underneath. And when you're not using them, just pop the clamps and take them off. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.